right, so I know everybody is sick of all the time lapses, but let me quickly run through my explanation for like not going into full detail of me putting the motor together. Um, like I always tell you guys, my work schedule is extremely sporadic. It's, uh, it's up and down. Uh, they can call right now and tell me to come to work, honestly. But um, while I had the uh, off days, I said, let me put the motor together. Let me make sure it's mechanically sound. And that's exactly what I did. What I did was we're done with the block. We have oil pump. We have ARP main studs. We have the heads on. Uh, we have the cams bolted down. We have the timing. Um, everything timing related inside the motor. Yeah, so we have the block completed. Pistons and rods are in, new rings, uh, new connecting rod bearings, new connecting rod ARP bolts, uh, new main bearings, new uh, main studs and nuts from ARP as well. So uh, whenever I'm ready to put a forge rotating assembly, which is a crankshaft, pistons and rods, I can reuse those uh, main studs and, and uh, bolts. And I also can reuse the connecting rod bolts because both of them are from ARP. If you, if from factory, you're not supposed to reuse those um, uh, connecting rod bolts and you're also not supposed to reuse those main bolts they're torqued to yield but the ARP bolts uh, you can reuse them uh, brand new time and chain kit uh, I didn't use the sprockets because I was using some of the older cams and the sprockets were pretty good uh, unless you've really dropped them and banged them up these things don't really go bad like that so left those on uh, I have a mixture of cams in here actually um, one two and three are from uh, B head uh, yeah B head uh, motor pretty much the same game and this one is from my C head that's because one of my B head cams uh, broke so I used one of the C heads um, so we just completed refreshing this motor uh, hopefully in the next video I can have all of the stuff to close the motor up painted that way we can uh, put it on the ground put a gearbox on it and uh, spin it with the starter and compression test it to make sure that we have proper compression long before we put this thing in the car. But let me give you guys a close up shot of the motor. So nothing much to see up top really. Nothing much really. Brand new time and chain kit all across the board. Brand new secondary tensioners on both sides. Brand new primary tensioners on both sides. So. You know, th those are prone to failure, so you definitely want to change those. Brand new high volume oil pump. That was definitely a must when I was putting this together. I want to make sure this thing has good oil pressure. Brand new connecting rod bearings, brand new main bearings. Oh, try to get this thing. Oh, shoot, I knocked that chair right out the way. <laughs> this thing has some steam behind it. All right, up, oh, up. Oh. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. Um, like I said, ARP main studs, ARP bolts. Uh, this is just some assembly lube that I had um, put in the oil pump. Uh, Windage tray from, I think the Lincoln Mark 8 fits right on here because I bought the bolts for a windage tray. Brand new oil pickup tube, brand new oil pump, like I said. Um, those are the bolts for the, um, the ARP connecting rod bolts. So, like I said, the bottom end is prepared to receive a, a fully forged rotating assembly whenever I get a chance to do that, or whenever I can afford it. The motor is back together, and it's pretty much time to get this thing painted and back in the car. All right, so that's all I have for you guys for today. Um, always remember, don't drift without your dreams. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.